I shall embrace you in my arms. Your kind killed the most holy. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate! Enough! Knight Captain! That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. What do dwarves do when magic gets out of control? Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. I don't believe I'm Andraste's Herald any more than you do, Chancellor. That laudable humility won't stop the Inquisition from using the misconception when it suits them. The Inquisition claims only that we must close the breach or perish. You say that now, Commander. We shall see if the sentiment remains true. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. How widespread is the violence between mages and Templars? Impossible to say. Your organization flouting the Chancellor's authority will not help matters. With the Conclave destroyed, I imagine the war between Mages and Templars is renewed with interest. The Mages and Templars are fighting, even though we don't know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Exactly why all this should be left to a new divine. If you are innocent, the Chantry will establish it as so. Or we'll be happy to use someone as a scapegoat. You think nobody cares about the truth? We all grieve Justinia's loss. But you won't grieve if the Herald of Andraste is conveniently swept under a carpet. I'll make sure they see reason in Val Royo. I pray you're right. I will take these in. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. How far is your quest to seal the breach? I'm doing everything within my power. A task such as closing the breach is a heavy burden. I hope you do not carry it alone. We remember Andraste, but Andraste did not carry the Chant of Light alone. She had generals, advisors, and though it is considered heresy to say it, she had the aid of the elf Chartin. Do everything within your power, but remember those who would help you. You keep talking as though I'm the equal of Andraste. Do you know how unnerving that is? I can only imagine. But we are all given to our purpose under the Maker. A sword does not ask to be forged. And frankly, if such a comparison gives you pause, I do not see that as a bad thing. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can. The rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? 
What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the Chantal Light. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Do you have information on people elsewhere? The refugees in the hinterlands are desperate. Without help, starvation or war will claim many lives. Villagers in Crestwood are besieged by their own dead. They have sent word begging for assistance. People are vanishing in the hills of Empress de Lyon. It may be demons or something worse, but they are terrified. More than that, I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. How are the villagers in Haven doing? They are terrified. Many of them came here because the war between the mages and the Templars destroyed their homes. In their minds, the death of the Divine has destroyed any chance of peace. To that, at the breach. Farmers have fled their fields. If we do not restore order, half of Thedas may starve. Farewell. Farewell.